This is my Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G. It is one of the best phones Samsung has ever made. In this video, I'll show you how to transform this boring setup into this cool looking setup worthy of this legendary phone which also complements its cloud mint color. So without any further ado, let's get started. Starting with the home screen, I'm using Nova Launcher Prime. This is a paid app which lets you customize almost everything. I have provided a link to my Nova Launcher backup file in the description. Simply import it into Nova Launcher and you'll have my exact layout which you can customize as per your liking. Next is my wallpaper. I am using the Wave Live wallpaper. This live wallpaper has been around since ages but still looks so cool. Again, it is a paid app and lets you fully customize the wave styles and colors. Out of these, I am using the Glibber preset. In the movement and form section, I have changed the amplitude and vertical position values. I've also slightly modified the colors. Coming to the widgets, you'll need to get multiple apps for this. KWGT Pro and Outline KWGT Widget Pack, which are also paid apps. I'm using Outline Widget 163 and 46 from this pack. I have tweaked them a little bit to match the color scheme and aesthetics of my home screen. For these icons, I am using Icon Pack Studio app. This app lets you design your own icons quite easily. Once you are happy with the design, simply preview it and export it to Nova Launcher like this. Link to my icon pack is in the description. To design your own theme, you'll need Goodlock which is a Samsung made app for power users. It is available in the Galaxy Store. From Goodlock, you'll need to install the theme park module. From here, you can let the theme park design a theme based on your wallpaper or you can select the colors of each aspect of the user interface and then save it once you are satisfied with your creation. Similarly, you can customize the look of the notification shade from the quick panel tab in theme park. Same is the case with the volume panel. To customize the keyboard, go to the keyboard section in theme park. Once done, go to the keys cafe module in good lock to add cool lighting effects and animation. To change how your recent apps are displayed, open the home app module in good lock and select task changer. You can choose between list, grid, stack and other layouts. For this kind of always on display, go to clock face module in good lock. Here you will find a lot of clock styles and you can also create your own. Once a clock face is selected from here, go to settings, lock screen, clock style and select the same from here. Change the color theme and you are done. Go 
These are some of my favorite Edge panels. The Apps panel has some of my most used apps and split screen app combos. The Smart Select panel lets you take advanced screenshots. The Tasks panel has some of my most used tasks. The Weather panel is self-explanatory. And finally, the Tools panel packs in some very useful tools. One Hand Operations Plus adds some cool gestures to your phone. Here, a quick swipe lets you go back, swipe down and hold for notifications, swipe up and hold for screenshots, swipe down and hold on the other side for quick toggles, swipe up and hold for flash, swipe left and hold for previous apps, Swipe right and hold for quick tools. To customize these gestures, you can find One Hand Operations Plus in the GoodLock app. To have an FPS meter while gaming, you need to install game plugins. This is also made by Samsung, available in the Galaxy Store. The Perf Z module lets you have a floating FPS meter as well as other stats while gaming. The Game Booster Plus module shows you the performance stats of previous gameplay sessions as well as lets you tweak the gaming performance based on your preferences. And finally, to get this cool music visualizer, you'll need to get the Music Visualizer app. There are so many options to choose from or you can design your own. So that's pretty much everything I've customized in my S20 FE 5G. Links to all the apps and data is in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share this video and feel free to ask any questions in the comments section. I'll be happy to clear any doubts. Thanks for watching.